application of quadratic equation method of solving word problems step 1 translating the word problem into mathematic form that is symbolic form according to the given condition step 2 form the word problem into quadratic equations and solve them let's see practice set 2.6 question 6 mr kasam runs a small business of making earthen pots he makes certain number of pots on daily basis. Production cost of each pot is rupees 40 more than the 10 times total number of pots he makes in one day. If production cost of all pots per day is rupees 600, find production cost of one pot and number of pots he makes per day. Let's see how to solve this. Let the number of pots Mr. Kasam makes in one day be x. Production cost of each pot is rupees 40 more than 10 times total number of pots he makes in one day, that is 10x plus 40. Production cost of all pots per day is rupees 600. It becomes 10x plus 40 into x equals to 600. Now, multiplying 10x square plus 40x is equal to 600. Taking 600 on the left side and dividing the whole equation by 10, we get x square plus 4x minus 60 equals to 0. Splitting 4x, we get x square plus 10x minus 6x minus 60 equals to 0. After solving, we get the value of x as 6 and minus 10. But the number of pots cannot be negative. So, x can't be minus 10. Therefore, x equals to 6. Production cost of one pot is equal to 10 into 6 plus 40 is equal to rupees 100. So the solution is production cost of one pot is rupees 100 and number of pots he makes per day is 6. Question 7. Pratik takes 8 hours to travel 36 km downstream and returns to the same spot. The speed of the boat in still water is 12 km per hour. Find the speed of the water current. Let the speed of the water current be x km per hour. Pratik goes 36 km downstream. Therefore, distance covered by the Pratik in downstream is equal to 36 km. Speed of the Pratik in downstream is equal to 12 plus x km per hour. Therefore, time taken is equal to 36 by 12 plus x. Now, he also returned to the same spot. Therefore, Distance covered in upstream is equal to 36 km. Speed of the Pratik in upstream is equal to 12 minus x km per hour. Therefore, time taken is equal to 36 by 12 minus x. Now, time taken in upstream plus time taken in downstream is equal to 8 hours. Therefore, 36 by 12 minus x plus 36 by 12 plus x is equal to 8. Therefore, after further solving by cross multiplication, we get the equation as x squared is equal to 144 minus 108. Therefore, x becomes a root of 36. That is, x is equal to plus 6 or minus 6. Minus 6 cannot be possible. Therefore, speed of the water current is 6 km per hour. Question 8. Pintu takes 6 days more than those of Nishu to complete certain work. If they work together, they finish it in 4 days. How many days would it take to complete the work if they work alone? So, let the number of days taken by Nishu be x. So, the number of days taken by pin 2 will be x plus 6. Nishu's one day of work is equal to 1 by x and pin 2's one day of work is equal to 1 by x plus 6. Work done together in 4 days is equal to 1 by 4. Therefore, 1 by x plus 1 upon x plus 6 is equal to 1 upon 4. After solving the left hand side by cross multiplication, we get x plus 6 plus x upon x square plus 6x equal to 1 by 4. Now, cross multiplying x plus 6 plus x by 4, and x square plus 6x by 1, we get 8x plus 24 is equal to x square plus 6. Solving this quadratic equation, we get the answer of x as minus 4 and 6. Number of days cannot be negative, so x is equal to 6. Thus, number of days taken by Nishu is 6 and that of Pintu is 6 plus 6 equals to 12. Thank you for watching the academic squad.